So another way that we can deploy our website using Netlify is to set up something called continuous deployment. And this is where we upload all of our project code to a GitHub repo. And then we can hook up our Netlify account with that GitHub repo so that it automatically deploys the main branch in that repo. And then in the future, if we ever make changes to our website, we push those changes up to our GitHub repository, we merge those changes to the main branch, Netlify is automatically gonna pick up on that change and it's gonna rebuild our application and redeploy it so we don't have to manually do it every time we update the website. So that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna demo this by creating a new repository, which I'm gonna call Web Warrior Website like so. Now this can be public or private, really doesn't matter. I'm gonna create this repository. And then once we've done that, we need to push up our code from this project to that repo. So to do this, I'm gonna copy, first of all, these first two lines of code. I don't want to push it right away. So I'm gonna paste those in to add the origin and to use the main branch. And then what I'm gonna do is add all of the changes we've made to this project. So to do that, I'm gonna say git add. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about Git and GitHub, I've got a complete playlist on this very channel. The link to that is gonna be down below. So git add, and then I'm gonna say git commit m, and we'll just say site for the commit message, really doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna push that up. So git push origin main like so. So we're pushing up that main branch, and now hopefully if we come over here, and refresh, we should see, if we do it again, no we don't, is it done yet? Okay, it's still uploading, so let's just give this a second. All right, cool, looks like it's done. So now if I refresh, we should see that project right here. Okay, cool. Let me just go into the source and make sure we have all of the pages. Yep, looks about right. All right, so how do we then hook this up with Netlify? Well, pretty simple. All we do is say we want to make a new site from Git. So this is for continuous deployment. Like we've said, we're gonna use GitHub. So it's gonna authorize you right here and then you need to search for your repo. Now I want to search for web warrior website like so. Press enter and this is the repo I wanna use. So the main branch is the one we're gonna deploy. We don't need to change anything else. We can just click on deploy site and Netlify is gonna hook up with that repo and try to deploy the main branch for us. All right, and then once that's done, we can just click on this URL and we should be able to see the website which we can and by the look of things, everything is working. Awesome. All right then, so what if we wanted to make a change to the website? Well. All we need to do is, first of all, we could come down here to our local project and we could check out a new branch. So I could say git check out a new branch and we'll just call this homepage to make changes to the homepage. All right, so if I open up now the source folder and go into the pages, then go into index, which is the homepage, I'm just gonna add a lot of exclamation marks to that. So a simple change, but just to demonstrate the process. So now what I'm gonna do is add all those changes, that single change. I'm gonna commit that, and I'm gonna say homepage text for the commit message, and then I'm gonna push it. So git push origin, and the branch was called homepage. So we're just pushing up uh, a new branch here to our repo. And then once we've done that, we can go over to the repo right here, we can see homepage had recent pushes. So let's compare and make a pull request. Um, yep, I'm gonna make a pull request for this so we can merge it into the main branch. So we'll merge that into the main branch. But before we do that, you can see there are some checks in progress and that's coming from Netlify. So it's just doing these checks first of all, before we merge this into the main branch. And then once those checks have passed, we can merge this. So let's merge it and confirm the merge right there. And then once this is done, we can then come over to our site overview over here. You can scroll down here and see now we have a new build going on. So once this is complete, it will publish it for us and we should be able to see that update over here when we click on this address. All right, so now that's done, we can scroll back up. I'm gonna click on this and we can see that update right here. 
So my friends, that is how we set up continuous deployment with Netlify, and that is also the end of this series. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will be doing more advanced series on Gatsby in the future, maybe with some kind of headless CMS, could be WordPress, or maybe something like Contentful, we'll see. But more advanced tutorials are coming in the future. If you enjoyed the videos, my friends, please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm gonna see you in the very next series.